that far Dude, away? It, whatever, okay? You didn't even care to tell me before? Fine. <laughs> Justin, what happened? Andrew just told me he's moving in with his grandparents. It was so far away, I'm never gonna see him anymore. I'm so sorry, I know that you're good friends. We're more than friends, Mrs. Vandekamp. I love him. Oh. Why? Why? Yes, I'd be curious to know just what it is you see in him. Well, when my parents first heard I was gay, they kicked me out. They said I had debased the entire family and that they couldn't love me anymore until I changed. But Andrew, he said that I should be ashamed of them because they were too stupid to know how great I was. That's the thing about Andrew. He doesn't take crap from anyone. How can you not love someone like that? You know, it never ceases to amaze me how people can turn their backs on their own family. I mean, but it happens every day, doesn't it? Yes. You know, Justin, if you would be willing to help, I'm pretty sure that I could find a way to keep Andrew from moving. What do you say? All right, here we go. This is the last of Andrew's things. Once we tape up these boxes, we can start loading the car. I'm proud of you, Bree. You're being awfully big about this. Well, I have to admit, I was a bit upset at first, but then it hit me. You're his grandparents. You should bond. Get to know the real Andrew. Oh, Dad, I, I forgot to warn you. These are some of Andrew's adult videos. I don't approve, but boys will be boys. Oh, Henry, stop looking at that filth. I, I don't get it. Where are the women? What are you talking about? This is all just a bunch of naked men. Sweet mother of God, what the hell are they doing? I don't know. I, I don't know what I'm looking at. Henry? This is pornography for homosexuals. Oh, shoot. I wish you hadn't gone through that. Now we have to have an unpleasant conversation, and we were having such a nice time. Bree, is, is Andrew gay? Oh, Dad, Andrew hates labels. I'm sure it's just a phase. Excuse me, but he has a magazine titled Leather Daddy's in Love. That does not sound like a phase to me. Maybe not, but it's no longer my concern now that he'll be living with you. We have to have a serious talk. Let's don't freak out about this. Uh, the Dutch therapist said... Forget the Dutch therapist in the kitchen! Now! Hey, where's Grandma and Grandpa? I need to start loading up my stuff. Oh, they, uh, they already left. Wait, they left? Without me? Ah, uh, yeah, they wrote you a letter. It seems they came across some personal items of yours that um, upset them. They're taking away my trust fund? They can't do that. Well, actually, they can. I mean, it's their money to dispense with as they see fit. I know it doesn't seem fair, but... No, it's really unfair. In fact, it sucks. What am I supposed to do now? Well, now that you can't afford to become emancipated, I guess you're going to have to stay here with me. Andrew, we can make this work. We just have to let go of our anger. No. Oh, I um, had a chance to have a nice chat with Justin the other day. He really seems very sweet. I've invited him over for dinner tonight. I hope you don't mind. Yes, we've all made mistakes that diminish us and those we love. But there is redemption if we try to learn from those mistakes and grow.